boy. Am I on? Uh, maybe I am. Good morning, friends. Oh, it's beautiful. Cold day in the North Georgia mountains. Probably about 35 out here, crisp and clean. Uh, right before spring. I guess some people consider March spring. Other people still consider March winter. I consider March winter. And uh, trying to get my walk on. So I'm really committed to getting skinny this year. Uh, I lost 200 pounds total. Like I lost 100 pounds. Game back. Like, game back like 65. Then I lost 100 pounds again. Game back like 70. Oh, Lord. And uh, I. Uh, Man, if you don't leave all six of them dogs alone, big ass dogs. You know those were six pit bulls, right? Stay away from over there with your silly self. We can't whoop all them. Anyway, uh, I lost all this weight two times. And I, when I was walking around 100 pounds lighter, a brother was looking good, man. I was looking good, y'all. I didn't think I would ever be fat again. And here we are, fat again. So this time, I'm gonna lose it. I lost 60 pounds in six months one time. Just get on it, man. And can't stay on it. But uh, my health is in crisis, my friends. Uh, if I don't lose this weight, I won't have kidneys anymore. So. We got to get it right this time. So I'm committed to do that and taking public accountability. So you guys will be watching me. I want y'all to pray for me, be praying for me, and uh, be watching me. Make sure I stay right. Y'all should see me getting skinny. Not talking getting skinny, but getting getting skinny. <sighs> so anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. And... If you haven't already, please hit the like button and also the notification or the subscription button and the notification bell. That way you'll be able to hear or know, be notified whenever I'm doing a video and you will be able to, uh, to uh, get that video because you hit the subscription bell and the notification bell lets you know, hey, Black Dragon's on right now or just dropped a new video. Okay, so that's that part and then... I also want to tell you guys to go to my podcast. I'm not getting as many of you guys on my podcast as I want. So it is the Dragon Slayer Motorcycle Chaos. And uh, it is hosted on Spreaker.com, but you can get it on almost any platform. And uh, my uh, new website, BikerLiberty.com, is my news magazine. Most of my videos, I'll do some sort of write-up about them and add more information so you can go over there and see more stuff bikerliberty.com my new youtube channel think tactical and uh think tactical is the podcast on spreaker and think tactical is also the um the uh the name of the thinktacticalnews.com and it's it's a prepper channel all about being a prepper biker prepper what have you Somebody just gave me a $20 donation. Thank you. I want to, man, I got to do this. I need to show you guys my new studio I just got. And this studio came from all of you guys' donations. So wait till you see my new setup. I think you're going to love it. Uh, I did that for you guys with the donations and money you've sent me over the last two years to bring better production value to you. So you will see where your great money has gone. All right. I got this... Uh, email from a guy and uh, I've gotten this email in one form or another from about 25 30 guys and I really haven't uh, addressed this email 
because these guys are not bikers. And I don't have a whole lot of uh, non-biker. Um, uh, hello, New Zealand. Good to see you. I don't have a lot of non-biker uh, um, subscribers. So I really have been kind of uh, reticent to just take out time to do a whole video for like a non-biker. But now that I've gotten this, this email yet another time, uh, I'm going to do this video for, for those guys. So when I get to another email, I can just send them to this video. And I, I just want to take out a moment to, uh, to address uh, my New Zealand viewer for just a minute. We are uh, absolutely here at Black Dragon Biker TV just uh, broken hearted to hear about your tragedy down there um, in, um, in New Zealand and uh, the victims uh, in the mosque massacre. We're just absolutely broken hearted to hear that. And well, we've been seeing a lot of that stuff all across the world over the past 10 or 15 years. From one group or another that gets a young person in there, corrupts their mind, uh, and these people go crazy. And it's just, uh, it's just uh, terrifying to hear what happened down there. And uh, is it Christchurch? Uh, if I remember the name correctly. So you have our prayers down there, and we hope you guys heal uh, and can move forward uh, from from that just terrible, tragic situation. And we just hope that um, no matter where they are in the world, we hope we just don't suffer through a lot of these. I can see it say that being an American, I'm not all up on this idea that we're going to change our gun laws tomorrow. Uh, that's, uh, to me, that's that's crazy that um, one guy does something crazy and then the prime minister promises she's going to change the gun laws. And uh, uh, I, I, in America, that wouldn't happen as it hasn't happened. They've tried a whole lot. Uh, they would need a whole lot of votes. No one person could, could take that on, but that's another situation. Um, hoping that you guys recover there uh, as soon as possible and uh, aren't hurt too bad. I, I don't even know how to say that. Of course you're hurt too bad. Uh, just that you can recover and get some peace at some point from this, however many years that down the line that's going to be. So anyway, uh, we're going to move back to the subject, and that is the subject of um, this guy. So I'm going to paraphrase, paraphrase the letter, since our, the email, since I don't have it with me. But uh, basically, he told me, Black Dragon, I have this girl that I'm in love with, I fell in love with, and she's part of a motorcycle club. And uh, not only is she part of a motorcycle club, uh, she's a black girl, and the motorcycle club is black, and I'm not black, so I really can't even get into the motorcycle club in, in such a way. There's no, if I even wanted to join that club, uh, I couldn't join that club, and there's really no way for me to get in on the inside of what's going on, and. The, the lady is so uh, passionate about her club. And she's got, uh, it's, you know, it's not really something that I'm gonna be able to, to like check her on, that's, that's an issue. <laughs> and he says, my fears are, and I have to say, uh, normal fears of a man, like, uh, who were all these men around her and all this familiarity and also she seems to be you know like 100% committed to this thing and me as a man he, he basically said I need you Black Dragon to you know tell me I'm being silly that my fears are unfounded and uh, that uh you know, everything's going to be okay. And, uh, <laughs> I, I wish I could tell you that. Um, 
me knowing motorcycle clubs like I do, uh, but let's say I didn't. If I were, I, I couldn't, if I wasn't in a motorcycle club, I, I don't know uh, that I could do it. I, well, I've never, uh, huh. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. My personality is just too alpha-ish. And uh, I'm not having you around all them guys and all that shit and all the flirting and, you know, all that. I'm not having, I'm not, I'm not going with all that. Uh, and I'm not part of the group. And uh, so if I'm not part of the group, you're getting ready to go riding with the fellas. No, you're not. <laughs> You're not getting ready to go riding with the fellas, girl. You've lost your mind. Uh, so uh, I don't know. I just I I I want to tell them it's going to be okay. Uh, but I know what an unencumbered woman goes through on the bike set, uh, especially if you're not a property, uh, so you don't have the protection. Uh, especially if you're not in a 1% club, you don't have the protection of uh, that's a property you won't even speak to her. Then all you would have to worry about is the club brothers. And I couldn't do it knowing the association of properties and motorcycle clubs. Uh, I, I couldn't do that either. But certainly if you're in a 99% club out on the bike set and you're unencumbered, girl, please. Hell no. But maybe that's because my ego's fragile and I'm not, you know, because the, the comes down to, uh, <laughs> do you trust your woman? Somebody says that's like a gazelle walking alone. Come on now. <laughs> Walk with me a minute to the corner. <laughs> it's like a gazelle walking through a, a forest of lions. Like I'm not playing that with you. And not every gazelle is going to be caught. I mean, maybe you just don't trust your woman. Like, uh, I, uh, like my girl has uh, been involved in the car club world. She was in a car club before I came along. And her, her car club was all women. And uh, you can ask her. She ain't been to a car club party by herself since I met her. Uh, you can drive that really, she, you know, she's had my, she's into all these muscle cars. She had a, one of those, was it a Camaro? Mustang, one of them things. I'm into bikes, I don't care about cars. But uh, she had a Camaro or a Mustang or something like that. It was black, brand, one of them brand new things. And now she's got a, a charger, and I guess she's getting a Challenger next. That's uh, what she's looking at. She's got this uh, 2019 Charger, and uh, I guess she's fixing to go around there and get a Challenger. She's into all this car stuff, and uh, I, I'm with you. That's that's good. Uh, and they wear, you know, car clubs look a lot like motorcycle clubs. They wear colors and stuff like that. And uh, it's cool. And uh, I, she's got her brothers. You know, her female car club has a an associate. I, I guess they have a, a brother club of men. So she's got her brothers. And uh, it's beautiful. But uh, if I couldn't put on my colors, and let me tell you something, MCs, we, we are the top dogs. Everybody understands MC colors. And uh, if I couldn't put on my colors and walk through there and folks be like, uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, and uh, it didn't have that clout when I walked through there. She couldn't. I, hell no. Girl, please. It ain't happening. And also, uh, she still don't go to that shit by stuff. She still don't go to that stuff by herself. We don't. We ain't. Uh-uh. And it, it's not that I don't trust her. It's just that um, 
I don't trust it. I don't trust none of that uh, suspect looking stuff over there. I don't know them people. I don't know how they get down. I don't know how revered her club is. I don't know much about car clubs at all. And um, that, I guess that's what it is. If I don't know much about it, uh, you don't trust your skills. That's right, uh, Big Sale, I sure don't. I don't trust my skills. Big Sale's woman is in a, a bike club or something. But it's a bike club of women. She ain't in no man bike club. So, uh, no, I don't trust my skills. Hell no. And I don't have to, because I got, I got the final word, which is hell no, you can't go. When you got her, you got her. Okay, Sal. So, when Sal met his woman, she was in a club. And uh, he rode on the back of her motorcycle. So, uh, I, uh, I'm just not going for it. So maybe that guy needs to write a letter to Big Cell because Big Cell will say, when you got her, you got her. Uh, and I, I do. I have to say that in all seriousness, uh, if she's going to be... Now, see, women join clubs for the same reason men do. And once they make that club their family, you're going to play hell, especially coming in new into the relationship, talking about uh, you got to leave that family. That's going to be a problem. That might be one of those uh, deal breakers. So you do kind of have to know the uh, if that's going to be successful. You do have to kind of know the the uh, as Big Cell says the ability of your skills. Actually, not your skills at all. You got to know what kind of woman you got, and not everybody is good at that. Some people. Uh, uh, <laughs> Big Shell said, I'll take that on the back. He knew that was an ugly swipe by me. <laughs> uh, I was trying to bait him in. He's not going for it. But uh, thanks for watching, Big Cell. By the way, if you guys uh, aren't familiar with Big Cell FHO ATLGA, you guys need to get over to Fast Harley's Only, the movement over there. It's kind of fun. Big Cell has... Uh, just invested in a major uh, studio move. So he's got uh, sound uh, in his, he's just opened up a podcast, actually three or four podcasts. So his sound coming out of there is absolutely amazing. And we definitely appreciate you being on with us. So um, uh, it does come down to, it comes down to, do you trust your woman? Can you trust your woman? And can you trust, uh, uh, can you trust yourself? Um, uh, do you have uh, faith in the kind of women you pick? And not all of us are good pickers of women. Uh, so we come into the relationship with a, a lot of baggage. And now here she brings this MC. Uh, and you're not going to understand anything. Uh, uh, you're not going to understand anything that uh, is going on in a motorcycle club if you're not part of it. You're not gonna understand uh, the relationships. You're not gonna understand how how they get down, how everybody hugs everybody. There's a, a lot of stuff you're gonna see that if you're not a part of this culture, you're just not gonna understand. And so if you're not trusting of that woman, you won't be able, she'll tell you, oh no, <laughs> that's nothing. Um, and you're going to be like, ah, I don't know. That don't seem like nothing to me. So it's, uh, but I would tell, I would tell the guy this. In all things, you have to be true to yourself. And in all things, when you're true to yourself, you, you have to, I mean, you, you got to, if you see BS, you got to know what BS is. So whereas it might be okay that everybody in the club comes and hugs her, Oh, that's what we do. We all hug each other. When well, you see a guy grab her butt now, oh, that's nothing. Uh, girl, please. Uh, that's going to get everybody uh, hurt. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, this is an interesting one he brings because I, I've seen this a hundred thousand times. I've been, I've gotten letter after letter. Now, Jared Lee says, I trust my wife, but 
when on the set, I know that men are looking and thinking something. Now, here's another one. Um, sometimes men can get aggressive on the set. And here's the ugly part about, and I probably should do a, a video called, if your man ain't on the bike set, uh, don't bring him around us. Because there are some things that could go on that um, that that can get your guy fired up if you're a woman and get his ass straight whooped on the set because he ain't got no if he's not in the club and he ain't wearing no colors he ain't got no friends the, he has no allies the only ally is the girl and she only has a limited ability to protect him so bringing your non familiar man onto the set uh, can can have a lot of uh, negative consequences especially if he flares up on someone because he won't be fighting nobody one-on-one -on -one. Uh, don't go like that he won't do it black dragon is too nice to uh, to do what what's going on here I won't do what? Please don't make her choose because you will lose. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm following this, but Big Cell did say this, and I said this earlier when I was saying if uh, she's part of a, a group and you try to make her choose, if that's her family and you try to make her choose, you are going to lose that. That ain't going down. Uh, it's just like... For so many guys whose woman says it's the bike club or me and uh it don't happen uh somebody said <laughs> big cell who fights one-on-one -on -one? i'm never alone <laughs> uh i'm never alone i keep uh, at least 16 friends with me at all times so that's 32 fists hey that would be a great karate movie kung fu saturday movie 32 fists I have my feelings about that. You can't be alone without me. I know that. So, to my guy who, who uh, my viewer who wrote that to me, I think you got an interesting situation on your hands. I personally, I don't think I could do it. My girl's in a car club, but uh, she, uh, or she was in a car club, but uh, she, when she started going to those parties and those functions and we got together, I put on my colors and I went with her. Uh, Big Shell says, my friends are not human, just trustworthy friends. <laughs> they uh, have my back under all circumstances. Um, so, oh, somebody says <laughs> 16 shots. Well, uh, I think if you are bad enough to be able to shoot 16 people at a time before one of them gets you, you can let your woman go anywhere you want. Uh, I think I will have to leave. I might get on my light, little bicycle and, uh, and pedal away. A group of women come on the set. Everyone looks at them to try to get a hookup, especially when they're new meat. So that's just the way that is um, and how you guys deal with that. That being said, a good woman cannot be broken, but there are, and, and, and you gotta know your woman can handle herself. But one of the reasons that I don't, uh, wouldn't want my woman out there is because there are aggressive men and she can handle herself, but that doesn't mean she's not gonna get gripped up or felt on or molested. And putting your hands on my woman, even if she handled herself, is a good way for things not to be so peachy keen. So I'm just, because I know how the motorcycle set is and I know what kind of hoe I was out there, uh, in my heyday, 
Yeah, I don't think so. But that's not to say that there aren't some women that are out there for the sisterhood. They're not on that mess. They know how to carry themselves. And women are carrying guns and stuff now too. Uh, and they'll be just fine out there. You just have to ask yourself, is my personality good with that? And uh, if you really love that woman, I don't, there's just so many complexities there. I, I don't have any great advice for you. I can just say, uh, somebody says, get yourself a good old fashioned church woman. They'll never let you down, but that doesn't mean they don't want to be in the club. They might be in a motorcycle club. They might've been there before you met them. So I don't have a lot of advice for you to accept to say, let your heart guide you in the way that uh, you feel. And uh, if it was meant to be, it will be. Uh, but I'm not going to say that that's not a difficult situation. I appreciate the, those emails, but it's, it's hard for me to tell you guys what to do. Um, I, in, in most of my experiences, uh, what I did with girls on the set, I never really had a woman on the set. Uh, it just didn't didn't ever work for me. Um, I always like to use the set to play and I had a good girl at home. Not to say that there's not good girls on the set. There are many good girls on the set. But I, uh, I, uh, I use the set as a, as a place to uh, exert uh, my bad qualities. So <laughs> the people I was looking for on the set had bad qualities. Most of the time I spent on the set, I was single. So I was a, a wolfhound looking to, uh, to prey. Uh, and that's why, that's one of the reasons why I just wouldn't be, I know that stuff, but if I didn't know that stuff, if I was a guy who didn't know that stuff, I guess it all has to come back down to, do you trust your woman? And uh, if it's a woman you just met, what choice do you have? You're not gonna walk into her life and say, okay, you're not riding motorcycles anymore. And, uh, and you're, you're, you're not riding with that motorcycle club anymore. It's a new day. I'm here. Da -da -da! Uh, I don't know, maybe if you come in paying all the bills, you can do that. Here I've come to save the day. But if you're just a cat that we're just dating and just now falling in love, you might need to do like women do. Hold up on that one a while. Launch that battle on her ass after you got her. Oh, by the way, you're getting out of that motorcycle club. You didn't say that three years ago when you met me. No, I was just planning my time, biding my time. So, uh, let's see. That's kind of how I feel about that. That's my two cents on that subject. Um, what do you guys think? Um, what would you tell that guy he should do? And I've seen it like in so many different ways. Like some guy told me, uh, some poor guy was, his uh, ex-baby mama was um, in a club and you know he was laying out uh, uh, underneath her carport at night and following her around and it was just it was just terrible another guy was chasing his woman who uh who um was with a club and he was trying to find her to get her baby from her so that's a lot of the reasons i haven't messed with those some of those folks is because they don't have good intentions but um this um particular one kind of I've seen this a lot, so what's my advice? My advice is to look inside yourself, find out what you can and you can't accept, and see where you are and where you want to go with that woman. And uh, above all, to thine own self be true. All right, that's my two cents on this. Listen, if you look up there, you will see a recommendation from YouTube as to the next video they want you to watch from me. And uh, I will have a recommendation as well for the video. So my recommendation will be on the right. Theirs will be on the left. 
There's also a subscribe button up there, so be sure you hit those subscribe buttons. Uh, be sure to... Uh, is that somebody named John Bunch? Are you serious right now? Oh, John Booth. I was going to say, who's got my name out there? So uh, be sure to check those things out. Our uh, new YouTube channel, Think Tactical, go over there. Think Tactical Podcast is on Spreaker. ThinkTacticalNews.com is on the internet. Also, be sure to check out the Dragon's Lair Motorcycle Chaos. That's our podcast, Monday and Fridays. And also, Biker News at bikerliberty.com so those are all of our platforms thanks for the donation earlier and uh, remember my books prospects bible prospects bible for women's motorcycle club sergeant Lawrence arms bible and the motorcycle club public relations bible are all available to you on amazon that's it thanks for tuning in get skinny